The U.S. broke off diplomatic relations with Havana 54 years ago, but finally the U.S. government has accepted the Cuban Revolution. The Cuban foreign minister was clear, as far as they have come over two years of sometimes secret negotiation, the U.S. and Cuba still have further to travel. Only the lifting of the economic, commercial and financial blockade, which has caused so much harm and suffering to our people, the return of the occupied territory in Guantanamo and respect for Cuba's sovereignty will lend us some meaning to the historic event we are witnessing today. Interestingly, the vast majority of those who gathered outside the embassy weren't here protesting against the flag-raising ceremony, but demanding even closer cooperation and ties between the U.S. and Cuba, notably the lifting of the economic embargo. That is not considered likely for the moment. However, it was notable that congressional opponents of closer relations with Cuba were unable to derail diplomatic normalization when they had a chance. And growing pressure from U.S. business interests may eventually blunt opposition to lifting the embargo on Capitol Hill. After talks with the Cuban foreign minister at the State Department, the U.S. Secretary of State said he would be traveling to Havana on August the 14th. He broke into Spanish. Los Estados Unidos. The United States welcomes this new beginning in its relationship with the people and government of Cuba. We are determined to live as good neighbors on the basis of mutual respect, and we want all our citizens in the United States and Cuba to look forward to the future with hope. Those who have long studied this fraught relationship were reaching for superlatives. This is an historic moment because there has been a war between Cuba and the United States for 56 years, and in effect Cuba won uh, without giving up anything, really. Uh, the, uh, the, and people who long said that Fidel Castro didn't want relations, they were wrong. He wanted this kind of relations. Uh, this recognized the legitimacy of the Cuban Revolution. In fact, Monday was the day the U.S. ended its international diplomatic isolation on Cuba. She Britansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.